It is early June, and in this part of the world, uh, it is time to scout wheat for uh, timing to apply fungicide for fusarium head blight. And as you can tell by the wheat that's here, timing is almost perfect. It is just broken into head. It is just starting to flower. Uh, fungicide will need to go on within a day or two. The other thing that uh, you should do when you're out checking your, your wheat is to check for other items that you see out in the field. As an example, variances in uh, growth, the height of the, the plant, the color of the plant. As you can see here, there's a, a very big variance from over on that side uh, of me to this side. So there's something that happened in this particular part of the field that we need to figure out. Whether it's a nitrogen application issue, whether it's a herbicide issue, or possibly a drainage and water retention issue. Uh, one of the ways to check for um, water and re uh, moisture retention is also by checking for soil density or compaction issues. The way to do that is with uh, one of these, a soil compaction meter. Um, looks like this. This is uh, one from Dickie John. There are many varieties and, uh, of them out there. We apply an even and steady pressure as we push the, uh, the tip into the ground. And what we're looking for is soil density changes as we're moving through the soil profile. In this case, right about there. Oh, it got easier right there. And now we're into a harder section. And there we go. We're going to see how thick it is as we push through. And there we have a fairly con constant density right there. There we've broken through as well. So the hard pan in this case is two to three inches thick at that depth. This specific uh, soil probe is got uh, measured in three inch increments, so it'll be three, six, nine, twelve inches. And we hit a density layer at roughly right about here, which would be approximately seven inches, and it carried through on to nine inches, which would be about here. The implications for the crop are that roots will have a very hard time growing below this particular spot because of the density of the soil. Also, nutrient and moisture movement up through this density layer also becomes slower and much more difficult to happen. The question is, is how do we solve that issue after the wheat crop is harvested? After doing multiple probes, if you find that uh, there is a consistent hard pan across the field, to fix the problem, there is a num number of mechanical ways of doing it. They would include a straight line ripper or a straight leg ripper, uh, a V-ripper, uh, a chisel ripper, or uh, perhaps a disc ripper. The timing of the application, of course, in this case would be after the wheat is off when it is dry in the fall and you get the maximum shattering action as opposed to doing it, say, next spring in front of the, uh, the next crop when you don't have time or the correct soil conditions. The timing on this would be pretty much right away after the, the crop is harvested. The placing, the settings on your ripping tool would be need, need to be just below where your hard pan is at that we've measured in this case to be roughly nine inches deep. So you would want to put your teeth on your chisel at 10 inches just to reach just below it to be able to lift that hard pan and shatter it uh, and leave the ground below it uh, uh, alone as much as possible, getting the maximum amount of shatter through the soil profile without mixing it.